Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of November 7th to November 13, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see, first card we have for you, Aquarius, is the Devil in the Reverse, the Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Moon. Okay, let's see, at the bottom of the deck, we have Four of Wands. With the Three of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, the Hangman, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let me put you here and the, at the top. A lot of pentacles here, obviously. The majority is all pentacles. It's in the reverse here, the majority. So some of you are struggling to, um, to get on your feet. Some of you are struggling to get on your feet. Some of you are struggling to um, have progress in your work or in your career or with your finances. You might feel a little bit disorganized in regards to your priorities or your responsibilities. You might feel like it's a struggle to maintain stability or to maintain balance right now in your life. Um, I, like, I like the King of Wands energy though. This looks like a good energy. The King of Wands is a good energy because it does mean that you're not, you're not scared, you know? You don't, you're not scared or intimidated by whatever struggles you're going through. You know that you can turn things around for yourself. You know that you have what it takes. You know that you have the, the confidence, the intelligence, the, the stamina, the abilities 
to to bounce back from whatever hardship you're going through, from whatever difficulty you're going through, to get back up on your feet, to regain control of your life. So I don't feel like you're scared here or feeling, you know, worried necessarily. You know what you have to do. You're just going through a little bit of a a rough patch in your life in regards to material things. But you know it's temporary. It's something that you can fix. It's something that you know you can fix, that you can correct, or that you can, you know, recover, whatever it might be. It's not something um, severe. I don't know, actually. Tell me about that King of Wands, because I feel like there's something else there. So what's going on with the King of Wands spirit? What's going inside what's going on inside the head of the King of Wands? Ooh, the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, uh that's exactly what I was going to say also. For I don't know why I felt like you didn't care. I'm getting a I'm getting an energy of of like I don't care from you. What's the King of Wands? temperance yeah it's kind of like this energy of i don't care because this this wasn't anything that was good for me anyway you know i i feel like you're in an energy of i don't care if things fall apart i don't think i don't care if things are breaking down because it, it, it was worthless to me anyway. I, I, was, I, was, I was going in a new path anyway. I was heading in a new direction anyway. Yeah, because with the King of Wands, some, some of you ha had already made plans to make some kind of big change in your life. Um, and that's why it doesn't really bother you that things are, you know, breaking down or falling apart or whatever it is, or unstable, because it's not something that you care about anymore. It's not something that you feel passionate about. So it doesn't affect you to lose it because you don't you didn't want it anyway. Whatever this is, I don't know what this is for you. Whatever these pentacles are for you. I mean, it can be many things. A ten of pentacles can be like a home or a family, you know. Some of you some of you it's family that you're losing here or that you know, it's it, it's breaking down or it's falling apart with the, the relationship you have with family. But you don't really care because it wasn't, it didn't represent anything valuable to you anyway. Because I do feel like with the King of Wands, it's kind of like an energy of like, well, you weren't there for me anyway. Like, you know, when I needed you, you weren't there for me, or, or when I needed the support, you know, you didn't, you weren't there for me. So, it doesn't really bother you to be losing, whatever it is that you're losing here. Even if it's like work, a career, or work, 
It's not something you were passionate about anyway. It's not something that was really giving you enough economic uh, gain to your standard, to what you believe you deserve. And with the devil in reverse, I do feel like there's there's been a lot of toxic things in your life that have been affecting you. And right now you're in an energy of wanting to heal and wanting to release yourself or liberate yourself from, from these heavy burdens. Or from the from the from this unnecessary baggage that you've been carrying, whatever it might be. Okay. <clears throat> it's interesting that the emperor is in reverse, you know, because it's kind of like a selfish energy, but it doesn't feel bad. <clears throat> it feels good. It feels like you're in this energy of it's time for me to be selfish, you know? You know, I've I've earned the right to be selfish. You know, I've it's time for me to put myself first. I've been too generous or I've been too um patient. I've been too patient. And it and it and it hasn't been worth it. You know, it's kind of an yeah, because this is like you also, this Queen of Wands. It's kind of like an energy of everything I do, um, always gets taken for granted, and and you're tired of that. You're tired of being the one who, who gives the most and receives the least. Gives the most and receives the least. Okay. So I do see you kind of getting yourself out of a, out of a, a bad energy and a, a toxic energy here. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. What's this energy, all of this energy here, Spirit? Four of Wands, Three of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. Four of Swords. I do feel like there is someone who you're interested in um, romantically. I do feel like you are holding back from making any moves or communicating. It does feel like you're taking some time off to focus on yourself, focus on, focus on your healing with the temperance card and on, on reclaiming stability, reclaiming your, your power. So some of you are putting like love to the side is what I feel. Hmm. What's the eight of swords spirit? Three of wands, yeah. Five of pentacles in reverse. You are avoiding repeating cycles or repeating patterns in your life. I feel like you're trying to learn from your mistakes. You're trying to learn from your errors and you're avoiding um, tripping over the same rock, you know, over the same stone. There is something here that is making you feel mentally conflicted. You're not sure if you want to return back to something. 
What's the Three of Pentacles? The Fool, Queen of Swords in Reverse. Page of Pentacles, Justice. Yeah, I feel like there's someone here who you're interested in, but you have your concerns surrounding this person. I don't know what happened between you two, but I do feel like you're in an energy of considering letting go of this connection. I don't know why. What's um why is Aquarius um thinking about releasing this this connection, this love connection? What why are they um thinking about walking away or ending things here? Oh, look at this. We have the Ten of Swords, which is an ending. So something was just too painful. Something has been too painful or too, too mentally taxing. Um, that doesn't tell me much. What, what else? Oh, okay. Well, we have the Hierophant in reverse, a lack of commitment, a lack of stability. Oh, and that's what you're trying to get away from <clears throat> with all of these pentacles in reverse. You're trying to get away from things that are um, unreliable, unstable, you know, inconsistent. You might, you might feel that about whoever you're interested in and you've already gone through um, a lot of negative experiences in regards to that with the Ten of Swords, in regards to people who, who don't know what they want, people who are not committed, and it looks like you're not, you're not motivated here to to get involved in, in something that is causing you stress, if that makes sense. Yeah, or mental conflict. So I do see you kind of taking a break to reevaluate your, your priorities and what, what you want to do moving forward in your life. It does look like you want to move in a different direction, in a new direction. I feel like you want, it looks like you want to focus more on yourself. And it, it looks like you don't want to take chances, basically, you know, you don't want to take chances with, with people that create uncertainty. What's the Six of Cups in Reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups? Um, what's that about, Spirit? Let me just quickly look at that. What are those three cards about? Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups. Ah, yeah, Page of Cups, Cherry in Reverse, Knight of Swords. I mean, some of you are, are really interested in someone. Like, there is some sort of love connection here with the Page of Cups. But I feel like some of you are in an energy of not wanting to take a risk, you know, not wanting to take a chance, not wanting to take a gamble because you're, you're dealing with enough conflict in your life and you don't want to get involved in something else that could potentially add extra stress in your life or ex an extra burden in your life.
Yeah, why is the Knight of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Cups. Some of you have someone who wants to return back to your life, wants to re-enter your life. They feel like there's been a missed opportunity. They want to um, recover their relationship with you. But I feel like you're in an energy of being very guarded and being very... Um, How do you say that? Like being, like being very defensive or guarded or cautious, careful. Because I don't feel like you're, you're shutting down completely. I, I do feel like you, you have a little bit of an open energy connected to you. But it's like you're being extra careful, extra cautious, and you're not believing anything. You're not believing anything anyone says. You know, everything has to be proven to you. Or else you're not going to entertain it. You know, I feel like you're you're putting your foot down, you know. You're you're demanding respect, basically. All right. Let's see um about your person. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. We have two cards that came out, the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. You might be dealing with a water sign for some of you. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups, Hangman could be a Pisces, well, I said water, water sign, Four of Swords, um, Strength could be a Leo. Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, hold on. Tower Magician, Page of Wands, Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. There's someone here who still wants to fight for you. The Moon and the Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles. There's someone here who still wants to fight for you. So there's someone here who still has feelings for you, even though things might have ended between you two or there was some kind of fight or argument or disagreement with the tower card. This person still feels like there's unfinished business between you two. They still feel like there's potential left between you two. And I do see this person wanting with the Ace of Pentacles, they want a new beginning with you. They want a second chance. I do feel like this person has been watching you for a while with the Page of Swords in reverse. And with the Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who is seeking a relationship with you. They are intimidated. They're intimidated to approach you or to say something to you. They're taking their time. They've done a lot of thinking with the Four of Swords. They, they've done a lot of um, reflecting. I feel like this person has had a change of heart with the Hangman in reverse or a change, a, a change in perspective. And with the Six of Cups, I do see that this person misses you a lot.
they feel really bad about how things ended between you two or about, you know, whatever separation happened between you two or conflict. Um, they feel guilty. They're, they're carrying a guilty conscience. And the King of Pentacles in reverse, they do realize that they were very unfair with you. That they created an, an unstable relationship with you. I do feel like for some of you, this person has tried to, you know, look at other options. But with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I do feel like this person has not been able to replace you with anybody else. And they feel like they lost something very valuable with you. The relationship might have been very one-sided between you two, Six of Pentacles in reverse. With the Hierophant, somebody was more committed than, than the other person. I feel like that's you, Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, Three of Cups. It, it feels like you were taking things more seriously than this person was, but I feel like this person, like I said, they've, they've done a lot of thinking, of, they've done a lot of meditating, and I feel like they, they've had a change of heart. I keep wanting to say that. A change in change of heart, a change in in perspective. They've had they've had some kind of wake up call. Yeah, so something gave them a wake up call with the tower card. Something shook them up. And I feel with the Seven of Wands, this is someone who still wants to fight for the relationship, still has the desire to fight for the relationship. With the Ten of Cups, this person um, does see you as someone who they want to have a long-term relationship with, a happily ever after with. They have been feeling very sad and very depressed here with the Five of Cups, um, being alone, being apart from you. What's the uh, Seven of Wands spirit? Yeah, Judgment and the Star in Reverse. Sun, Three of Wands, Five of Cups, please. Knight of Swords, Six of Swords in Reverse. This person feels like they ruined their reputation with you. They're sad about ruining their reputation with you. They want to have, a, have an opportunity to um, redeem themselves and fix their image, fix the way that you view them now. They feel like they gave you the wrong impression of, the, of them. Or they feel like they presented themselves in a way that wasn't authentic to who they really are. They want you to they want you to get to know them again. They feel like you didn't really get to know the real person, the real them that they are. They feel like they acted in a way that they shouldn't have acted and it wasn't a good representation of who they really are and what their feelings really are for you. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who wants to clear the air with you with the Ace of Swords and they wanna put in more work, more effort into this relationship. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so they're feeling your absence very, very heavy, very heavily in their life. And they feel like you left a void in, in their heart and in their life, like, or an emptiness. Again, I feel like they tried to replace you 
in some way with the Seven of Cups, but they weren't successful. And I feel like they are, you know, lamenting and regretting um, having, ha having pushed you away. Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords in reverse. They're regretting um, pushing you away, yeah. Okay, so that's what I see, Aquarius. Uh, like I said, I definitely see this as someone who has received some kind of wake-up call. Um, they, they, they've, they've had a change in heart, a change of heart, and they do want to start over with you again, okay? All right, so hopefully this resonated and hopefully this helped you. Thank you for watching. I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.